Um, okay, so you going forward, passion projects, things like that. What's, I mean, you're only as good as your last book, right? When's your next book coming out? You know, <laughs> I'm kidding, of it's course. So but. true. It's so <laughs> true. So, marketing a book, promoting a book, doing social media, all of that is a huge time suck. Yeah. It it is a lot of work, mm-hmm. and I'm trying to do that. I was trying to do that and write the book a little bit. So I'm not thinking yet about what is next. However, I do have a couple of projects that I've started and I'll pick one of them. Mm -hmm. I have another memoir that I want to write, two other memoirs that I would like to write and I might go that route. Cool. But I also like the idea of of breathing a little bit and Mm -hmm. writing fiction um, and seeing if I can do that because Mm -hmm. it's a different beast and it's it's challenging. Mm -hmm. But memoir takes so much out of me really you got to go back and relive the past yeah and it's not the good things because if you wrote a book about all the good things nobody would read it because Mm. it would be boring as hell yeah people want to read things they can learn from about trials and tribulations and Mm -hmm. things that people have been through that they've overcome so i have a couple of ideas for that Mm -hmm. but it would be opening the door to the past again and diving in. And I don't know if, mm-hmm. if I want to go there. And it's interesting how, I mean, I would imagine I've never done what you're talking about to, especially at your level, but so you, it's, it's very productive. You know, I think could, you could argue of, you know, going to that place, right. Those hard moments and, you know, whether you write it down or not, but going there and then, but now it becomes this project. So even if you're having a bad day or a good day, it's like, all right, well now I need to continue to keep going into that place, you know, which there's definitely those people that don't go to that place ever, mm-hmm. which is unhealthy. Mm-hmm. But then there's the struggle of like, all right, well, I need to get into that, you know, whether it be sadness or whatever it is, you know, I need to get into that, really get into it to write well. And it's like, well, you keep getting into it every single day, yeah. you know, that. And then to just pull yourself out and go, okay, well, that was then. Yeah. You know, let's go to dinner. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> that's let's hard. dinner and cry. <laughs> yeah, for real. Like, that's, that's hard. Well, and I think about, you know, to do it. One thing that was hard for me with this book from the very beginning was writing about my family members, Mm -hmm. writing, putting in stone things that happen. And are people, are my family members going to be okay with this? Mm -hmm. Am I going to be offending anybody or hurting anybody? And I had to stop thinking that. I just had to write my story, what was true for me. And but I suspect, because I already feel it creeping up, that if I write memoir again, or when I write memoir again, that same concern will come up. Mm-hmm. These people are going to read this, and I've written about them. Is it fair for me to write about them? And the answer, I know, is yes, because it's my story. Mm-hmm. And if people don't want to be written about in one way, they shouldn't act that yeah. <laughs> they should behave better if they want to be written about better, I guess. Mm-hmm. And um, so you can't, and people echo this, you know, when I'm stuck, when I'm writing, like I've written these um, little memoirs for vamp that I've performed at live readings mm-hmm. and in writing them in, criti- in critiques and revising, people keep echoing. You have to write this as if everybody is dead. Mm-hmm. You cannot worry about their feelings because then you don't go deep enough because you're worried. You sugarcoat things. You leave things out that really should be said. Mm-hmm. So, Interesting. Yeah, it's – isn't it crazy how you can totally overcome that mountain of like, you know what, I'm going to be vulnerable and I'm here. And then two days later right. you're like, I don't know if I should right. say that. It's, I mean, literally this week, it was last Friday, uh, this carpenter that was on this job who I don't know. And I don't know how it came up that I have a podcast. Probably because I just run through the halls screaming that I have a podcast <laughs> or some, something to that like. Probably but that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, it was I ultimately he found out and he's like, oh, it's a call. I'll take a listen this weekend. And then he came in on Monday and I saw him and I didn't say anything. You know, I'm not going to be like, hey, did you listen to it? Did you mm-hmm. listen to my mixtape? You know, I'm not going to be that guy. If he listened right. to it, he listened to it. So he brought it up when I happened to see him on Monday. And he said, uh, he's like, oh, yeah, I listened to your show. And I'm like, oh, which one did you listen to? He's like, I listened to the one where your truck got stolen. And in my mind, I go, okay, here's this. This dude that's carpenter, right? He's a real, it's a real man's man, and he listened to a thirty-minute episode about me talking about how my truck got stolen. But the real kind of broad stroke of that episode was, 
you know, hey, I need to believe in myself, and sometimes I don't do that. That was kind of me being a real vulnerable episode. So now this guy I'm face to face with on a construction site, it's like, hey, I le- heard you cry on this pod. <laughs> you know, per- I didn't cry, but basically. And so I'm like, oh, that's that's tight, dude. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. thanks for listening. He's like, no, it was really good. I listened to the whole thing. I loved it. And it was just like, okay, cool. You know, but it's interesting how that yeah. works out. Well, that's where the meaning is, right? When we can become vulnerable and where we become braver to share something mm-hmm. that we feel a little uncomfortable sharing. Yeah. Um, because otherwise, everything's so superficial that nobody can relate to it. Yeah. And it, if you don't talk about something, then you're talking about nothing. You know, yeah. I've kind of learned that a yeah. little bit here. Um, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I'm thinking you're, I'm teaching and you're, I'm learning. We're, everything's great. Uh, <laughs> if you enjoyed this content, be sure to check out the Standing Still podcast, both here on YouTube and wherever else you listen to podcasts.